What celebrity did bad things but everyone forgot what they did because they're famous? Vince Neil of Motley Crue drove drunk and killed one of his very good friends and gave the two people in the other car very bad injuries and brain damage. He also had other DUIs after this. Semicolon. Floyd Mayweather beats his wife with hands that are registered as lethal weapons in front of his children. But because he wins nobody cares. Jimmy Superfly Snooker killed his girlfriend and got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Kurt Cobain's mother regularly goes on talk shows and interviews where she talks about how supportive she was of Kurt and how she knew how famous he would become from the moment she heard his music. Yup. It's the same mom that abused Kurt and kicked him out multiple times making him live at his grandparents. Friends and sometimes, not confirmed, sleep under a bridge. R. Kelly married Alia when she was 15 years old in the mid 90s and yet it took like two decades for people to start boycotting him as a S.O.L. predator. He was still making songs with Beyonce and Lady Gaga ETC for a long time. Rick James kidnapped two women with his wife while on separate crack binges. And he ducked up Charlie Murphy's couch. Vince Neil was driving drunk and caused a crash that killed his passenger. Ted Nugent tee his pants to dodge the draft and has a song called Jailbait which ends with him pleading with an officer not to arrest him and instead share a 13 year old. Johnny Cash walked out on his wife and kids saying that his career was more important to him than they were. Then went on to eventually settle down with June Carter and start a whole new family while still ignoring the kids he already had. Boy George. He beat a guy with a metal chain after cuffing him to a radiator. Should make for an interesting sequence in his forthcoming biopic. Steven Tyler became the guardian for a 16 year old he was dating when he was 25 so he could bring her on tour. Locked her up too. Piers Morgan was the editor of the Daily Mirror during the Iraq war. Published photos that he knew were fake of American and British troops abusing Iraqi prisoners. George Wallace of infamous pro-segregation governor of Alabama in the 60s so did not inform his wife that a doctor diagnosed her with cancer. Doctors during this time often told patients relatives of their cancer diagnosis instead of the patient. Especially if the patient was female. The reason was that she was running for governor as a surrogate for him since he had reached his term limits and he thought that the diagnosis would negatively affect her chances of winning. She ended up finding out about it four years later during a visit to a gynecologist. But unfortunately the cancer had progressed to the point that she died from it three years after learning that she had cancer and that her husband had known about it. He ended up successfully getting the term limits repealed and went on to serve a few more terms as governor. People forget about this. I'm assuming. Because of all of the other shtty things he did. Edit. Her name was Lillian Wallace. For those interested. Jared Leto's been accused of RP by half a dozen 13-15 years old girls. Carl Malone got a 13 year old pregnant and refused to take care of that child. Drake seems to be ignored for grooming a young underage fan, at age 14, into being his girlfriend until she recently turned 18 this year. And now he's even, supposedly, doing it to a young actress. Gwyneth Paltrow. She's a con artist and manages a MLM. As well as recommending women treat their illness by putting rocks up their vagina and steaming their privates causing harm to people. You can say she's an idiot. Or just that she's a sociopath that loves making money off hurting other people. Steven Tyler was a serial rapist in the 70s and 80s. Now he's an old woman. In my country there is a TV host that killed several people in a car accident. Twice. It was his fault both times. You can still see him on TV. I mean it seems to most that Drake is actively grooming young girls but it seems to be forgotten as soon as new evidence surfaces. Emma Roberts beat the shti out of her then boyfriend Evan Peters. Then continued to co-star in the same show as him. I was looking for this. She left Evan Peters with a bloodied nose and bite marks after some people called the cops on them when they had a fight in their hotel room in Canada. I'm saying this as a woman. 
It says a lot about how obvious the abuse is that when the cops turn up to a domestic violence case and arrest the woman instead of the man. They continued the date until early this year. Maybe she changed but if I'm completely honest. I just feel relieved on Evan Peter's behalf. There's a soccer player in Brazil who killed his wife. Quartered her body and gave it to dogs eat, to make it harder to police found out. He went to jail for a few years and now he is paying again and making tones of money again like nothing happened. Edit. Okay he is not making a tone of money. What I meant is that he's probably gonna have a pretty comfortable life and have his car back. Also the woman wasn't his wife. It was his mistress but they have a children together and still. Creed Bratton has been a leader and a follower of numerous cults. Dr. Drebita reporter. D. Barnes. Savagely for writing a negative story on him. Or one he perceived as negative. I don't know. Comma he picked her up by her hair and began slamming her head and the right side of her body repeatedly against a brick wall near the stairway as his bodyguard held off the crowd with a gun. After DR. Dre tried to throw her down the stairs and failed. He began kicking her in the ribs and hands. She escaped and ran into the women's restroom. DR. Dre followed her and grabbed her from behind by the hair again and proceeded to punch her in the back of the head. He and Eminem would go on to joke about it as the man who slapped D Barnes. Comma DR. Dre produced and is featured in rapper Eminem's song Guilty Conscience. In which Eminem references the incident as a humorous put down. Dre reportedly fell out of his chair laughing at it. There was that time James Franco tried to duck a teenager. After she posted the exchange on social media of her telling him how old she was and him not caring and still wanting to see her. All he had to do was go on a few morning talk shows a couple days later and say. You don't always know who you're talking to online. And everyone instantly forgot about it. He framed it like he was the one who was deceived and people just let it slide even though that clearly wasn't the case. Jerry Seinfeld dated a 17 year old girl in high school. When he was 39 years old. Edit. I know it isn't illegal. He had money. Fame. And was at the height of his show. And he chooses to date a 17 year old who is still in high school. It might not be illegal and as bad as murder or pay kidnapping etc. Comma. But it's still pretty scummy. Funky bass. Seinfeld. So I met someone at the park. George. Do these glasses make my face look fat? Elaine. You met someone? At the park? George. You shouldn't go to the park. Too many panhandlers. Jerry. She wasn't a panhandler. George. George. Who? Elaine. The girl at the park. George. I wasn't listening. These glasses. Elaine. So tell me about her. Jerry. Her name is Claudia. She's mumbles. Elaine. What's that? You're mumbling. Jerry. She might have been 17. Elaine. Jerry. Jerry. High pitched I didn't know at the time. George. Imagine meeting her parents. It's awkward enough if she was legal aged. Jerry. She is. Kramer bursts in. Audience goes wild. Kramer. That's just great. I'm banned from the Apollo Theater. Can we have a reverse thread? Which celebrity has a clean background? Hugh Jackman seems alright. Bob Ross and Fred Rogers remain two of the most clean and wholesome human beings on the planet. Charlie Sheen once had unprotected sx with his girlfriends, plural, when he has HIV. Do people actually forget how awful Sheen is? Coco Chanel was a Nazi. Tyler Tequila is a Nazi. Andy DCK has s sorely assaulted people an absurd amount of times and also got Phil Hartman's wife back into drugs which led to her murdering Hartman in an intoxicated state. You would think he would have been ruined in the Matu movement. But apparently we pass it off like ha. Huh? That's classic Andy DCK. Edit. To those saying Andy DCK doesn't really get a pass because everyone hates him. He's not in prison which is where anyone else would end up for doing half the things he did. So I'd call that a huge pass. 
Will Smith was in YouTube Rewind 2018. I see people still saying great things about Tom Cruise. All the time. Especially on our movies. It's like they forgot he's huge into Scientology. You know. The ducked up group that locks people up in compounds until they conform. That group that has gotten away with our pay and murder. That group that skirts taxes with their bullshit church status. The group that intimidates and ruins lives that go against them. It's a huge duck and evil cult. He's a very big part of it. And yet people seem okay with him. MR. Mosabi from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody killed someone in a drunk driving accident. Edit. Phil Lewis is unlike many of the others on this thread in that he was sincerely remorseful for his actions. The comedy troupe that he created helped spread awareness of the dangers of drunk and reckless driving. And that helped play a role in his reduced sentence. People can change with reflection. Introspection. And genuine remorse for their wrongdoings. And he seems like a very good representation of that. For the record. Phil Lewis is very remorseful about what happened. And. To this day. He continues to work with drug abuse recovery groups and talk about his experience. Jesus take the PRNDL. Rick James. He and his girlfriend literally kidnapped someone and burned them with their crack pipe and s sorely assisted her. But people just want to go Rick James bitch. Edit. To be fair. People say Rick James bitch. More because they like Dave Chappell. Not because they're big Rick James fans. Pete Townsend of The Who and Child PRN. When Cardi B was a stripper she would take people home. Drug and rob them. Not even old news just not had much backlash for it. Actor and television personality Donald Trump, from The Apprentice and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, has had dozens of our pay allegations against him. Has been recorded admitting to taking advantage of women through his celebrity status. Obstructed two federal investigations. Has publicly asked another country to help interfere with the 2020 presidential election. Has possibly indulged in a child prostitution ring. Tom Cruise is the celebrity face for a massive cult that kidnaps. Arpez. And is likely involved in human trafficking and child marriages. The cult that outlawed the ducking IRS. But yeah. Mission Impossible was cool I guess. Caitlyn Jenner caused a car crash that killed Kim Howe. Jimmy Kimmel wore blackface and no one said a damn thing. Rob Lowe made a SX tape with a couple of girls. He got ducked. She had a fake ID and lied about her age. Unlike Don Henley. Who knew the prostitute he picked up was a teenager. And literally no one remembers that. Kobe Bryant the rapist. The category is therapist. Errol Flynn. He went on trial for our pay of an underage girl once. And when he was cleared of all charges. The public and fans cheered and had a little girl run up to him and present him with flowers outside of the courthouse. He did all sorts of other scummy things in his lifetime but his fame kept him away from any type of repercussion until his death. Big Bird was caught doing a line of coke off of Gordon's ass. Ben Roethlisberger. Everyone somehow forgets that he arped two people. Edit. I get it. Katy Perry and S. Zool misconduct I guess ITD be called. The whole Katy Perry thing is so ducked. One minute she's behind the Me Too movement and wants to call out S. Zool predators. But two accusations, plus that time she kissed that kid on American Idol. Which was dodgy even at the time, have gone right past her with seemingly so impact whatsoever. Classic case of one rule for them. Another rule for me. Matthew Broderick killed two women in a car accident caused by gross negligence by driving on the wrong side of the road in Ireland in 1987 and got off with a $175 fine. Natalie Wood was probably murdered by Robert Wagner and witnessed by Christopher Walken. Robert De Niro. In 1998 he was caught being involved with an international prostitution ring in Paris. This particular prostitution ring was known for their underage workers. 
Somehow Bobby has slipped this but guys like Cosby go down. Very. Colby Bryant R. Ped a girl. Hired private investigators who smeared her and made it look like she had sex prior to having sex with Kobe. Her life was destroyed since he is a celebrity and athlete everyone believed him. Kobe then admitted to the encounter was not being consensual in the eventual civil suit that followed. Obama ordered 26. 171 drone strikes in his last year of office after he had won a Nobel Peace Prize. For anyone wondering. That's about one explosion every 20 minutes. Non-stop for a year. Bill Clinton. No one's forgotten but it gets brought up every 5 minutes. Ted Kennedy. Chappaquid CK. Mother Teresa is one of the most vilest people in history the suffering she brought to terminal patients and author s due to her messed up religious beliefs is ridiculous and she is worshipped as a saint. Also. There is all the money she raised which wasn't providing medicine so just lined the pocket of the church and her little sect. Steve Carrell promised college tuitions to third graders but didn't fall through to it. In Britain there's a duo called Ant and Deck. Well Ant nearly ducking killed a child and her mother in a car crash due to being drunk during midday. Every boy has already forgotten that although doing that is still his fault. Christopher Columbus. Wasn't Snoop Dogg up for attempted murder before he got famous? He was acquitted. People forgot because the law said he wasn't guilty. That's a bit different. Laura Bush killed a guy. Caitlyn Jenner killed a 60 year old in her car. But she's famous and rich so gets away with it. Lena Dunham molested her sister. Ariana Grande Blackfishes. Licked some donuts in a store that she never intended to buy. Has alluded to her quinceanero and implies she is Latina when she's white. Nicki Minaj is currently dating a registered SX offender. He served time in prison for arping a 16 year old at gun and knife point. And another stint for aiding attempting in a murder. Cardi B. She has a huge ass list of problematic things she's said and done. Somehow these women are role models and influencers. Edit. Being Italian does not make you a person of color. Duck. You can be a person of color and Italian. But Italian people historically don't suffer disadvantage due to their color experience racism. I'm Italian. A Cantan. I also have white privilege. Cardi B. Many. Many rappers should be included if you want to talk about her. I'm a huge hip hop fan but selling drugs. Robbing. Gang activity. ETC comes with the territory. George Bush war criminal. Technically Obama counts as well. I sneezed once and Tom Hanks only said bless you not God bless you. A. A. Milline. Winnie the Pooh creator and author. Got his ideas from his son's stuffed animals. His son was horrified by the lack of privacy shown by his father and use of his real name. Christopher Robin Milline. In his father's books. Christopher was bullied unmercifully through school. His father showed total indifference to his son's plight. After college. Christopher claims that he couldn't find a job because of his childlike namesake. Yet his father pushed on. He repeatedly pleaded with his father to stop. But his dad saw dollar signs and chose to ignore his son's emotional well-being. Taylor Swift made a number of country albums. And everybody just acts like it never happened. Mark Wahlberg. Roman Polanski child rapist. Fled the US with support from his Hollywood friends. Lol I'm gonna get tons of down votes for this but. XXX Tintation. Bruce Jenner. Ran over a granny. Buckle up. Buckaroo. John Landis killed three people. Bodjak Horseman. Jerry Seinfeld was dating a little teenager. As in a 17 year old high school student. While Seinfeld was on the air. Seinfeld was 38 at the time. Extinction beat his pregnant girlfriend blue but everyone forgot cause he was murdered. Control plus F Dave Grohl. Phew. 
definitely Vagvik Ernst. Seriously? In the UK Leslie Grantham. Who played the character Dirty Den in popular soap opera EastEnders. Was involved in a SX scandal. He showed his willy on a webcam. Whilst dressed as Captain Hook. During this scandal nobody mentioned that he's also a convicted murderer. Having killed a taxi driver in West Germany during a botched robbery. No one seemed to mind that he was famous and successful despite having shot a man who was just trying to earn a living. But they did mind when he flashed his knob in a pirate costume. To be fair. He shouldn't have done that either. Matthew Broderick killed two people when driving on the wrong side of the road in Ireland. He was fined you acute 175. Cardi B. She drugged and robbed them. People pretend that our pay was involved. Because they want this to be another example of double standards. But it's just another rapper with a history of petty crime. Redditors single her out because she is a woman. Drake. Beto O'Rourke. Ducker is a criminal. Semicolon. Edit. He was DWI then tried to flee the crash. Hillary Clinton. I don't know why you're being downvoted. It's pretty common fact that she's married to a rapist and has had lots of people killed isn't it? That Cher Arp had a 12 stroke 13 year old Anthony Kiedis while she was babysitting him. But to be fair nobody forgot. They just never cared because this revelation has been hiding in plain sight. In both Kiedis autobiography and on the RHCP episode of Carpool Karaoke. Ryan Reynolds did Green Lantern. Bill Murray beat his wife. Threatened her repeatedly. And made a point to remind her that nobody would believe her because of his public persona. Ariana Grande licking those donuts. Everyone forgot because she made some really good songs after. I think everyone forgot the incidents because she was just licking donuts. Not ducking kids. Tim Allen got caught in an airport with one. Five pounds of cocaine and gave up his connections so he only did three years instead of life. Home improvement hung noise. Anision. Steven Tyler took legal custody of a 14 stroke 15 year old. Tried to intentionally impregnate her. And then pressured her into having an abortion. Which he watched in the operating room. Eric Cartman set up Scott Tenement's parents to be killed. Stole their bodies and made them into chili. He then fed the chili to Scott Tenement. Essentially tricking him into eating his own parents. People think Eric is a DCK. But they don't think of him as a murderer. Amber Heard. She abused her husband Johnny Depp to such a degree that he lost part of one of his fingers. I Ike. And got the world to believe that he was the abuser. I feel bad because I know I'm a nobody but I talked much tea about Johnny Depp until I found out he was the victim. Jim Carrey allegedly gave his ex-partner 3 STDS and then broke up with her. She committed suicide because she couldn't ever see herself being with anyone or happy with herself as she was now stuck with these diseases for life. Her family filed a wrongful death suit against him and last year Jim was cleared on the charges because the 2011 STD test stating the GF was clean before dating Gim was forged meaning she had apparently contracted the diseases before meeting him. Not sure what to believe here though. He paid her off in 2013 because she was blackmailing him saying she would go to the press. But he apparently regretted doing that. Quite a sad story. People seem to forget that before Anthony Hopkins became a famous actor. He used to be a doctor and also psychopathic serial killer. If you do a google search for a Dr. Hannibal Lector you will find all the info that you need to know. Scary. Cardi B drugged men and stole from them. Caitlyn Jenner killed someone. Buckle up Bacarous. Mark Wahlberg beat and blinded a Vietnamese guy just because he was Vietnamese. Amber Heard. Johnny Depp said wife accused him of beating her and people were up in arms. Ready to destroy his career. Called him all sorts of horrible names and when he released surveillance tapes. 87. Police calls. Etc. Showing she was the abuser not a single person apologized for slandering him. 
They automatically treated everything she said as the absolute truth and were willing to destroy his career in an unsupported claim. Eminem beat his wife. They both threw hands tbf. Kurt Cobain admitted in diaries that he s sorely assaulted a disabled teenage girl when he was around the same age. Edit. Hillary Clinton. Gary Glitter. Whose music still is used in movies to this day. Doesn't matter he got caught practicing pedophilia. Brick killed a guy with a trident.